أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين حبيب الله العالمين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصمين المنتجبين السلام عليكم and welcome to lesson three of our مفاهيم lectures our classes of Mafaim Quran and understanding the words of the Quran. So we started our pre previous two lessons and we learned many words, about uh, 40 words. So inshallah, let's start with lesson three and we can continue learning even more words so we can understand the Quran better. So without further ado, inshallah, let's start going through the word bank and start learning. Bismillah rahman rahim uh, Lesson three, attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We learned the, some of the attributes in the last lesson, such as Rauf and uh, Ghafoor and such. So now we're going to continue learning more about the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's go uh, through the words and we'll go through it twice. And uh, if you can just repeat after me so you can remember it better. Hereafter, end, akhira, akhira. So just the end, the hereafter. When we talk about the afterlife, we talk about akhira. All, all of them, that, those, you, it, jami'an. So when we're talking about all of something, we say jami'an, all of them. Retribution, religion, deen. We say usually the meaning of deen is religion, but in the Quran, we have parts that are uh, said as such parts such as Yawmuddin, the day of retribution. In that point, you should be using the word retribution rather than religion. But usually we use deen as religion. Deen has many word meanings. Path, Surat, before, Qabl, Master, Malik, Straight, Mustaqim, Kingdom, Mulk. As you can see here, mulk is the kingdom, and one who is one, one who has power over that is the malik. Malik, mulk. So we should try to remember that malik is the master, but mulk is the kingdom. Day, yawm, one, wahid, wahida. So the number one would be wahid. Judgment, rulership, hukm. So hukum is when we judge or when we are doing judgment, it's a judgment or rulership. Guardian, wali, world, beginning, first, ula. So when we say the first or the beginning, we say ula, as in uh, it is the first. For example, it comes from awal. So we can remember it as that. We would say world beginning, ula. My, me, mine, yeah. As we remember before, we had a ka and ha. When we add these to the end of uh, certain uh, words, such as kitab, kitabi, when we add ya at the end of it, it becomes mine. So it becomes possessive. So kitabi. And because of that, uh, baiti, my house. So ya is put, is put at the end to make it mean uh, ownership of it. So mine, my, or me. This female, this male, hadhi, hadha. So we should remember that hadhi is meant for females, but hadha is meant for males. But either way, if you see hadhi or hadha, they both mean this. He who, alladhi, those who, alladina. So alladhi is for singular. Alladina is when we're talking about the plural. So when it's more than one. So we're not talking about one person that believes. We say those who believe. Towards, to, ila, min, when we said from, ila, towards, to. Whoever, he, who, man, o, ya, ayyuha, ayyuha, ya. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, uh, he is addressing 
a certain group or such. He says, yeah, ayyuha. Or he says, ayyuha, yeah. So we have many parts in the Quran where he says, ya ayyuha alladhina amanu, right? Ayyuha alladhina amanu. He's saying, oh people. So he is addressing uh, certain people when he says, yeah. Or ya ayyuha, ya ayyuha. Then, so, fa. So uh, when we use fa, uh, we're trying to say, where we give a sentence and then we say fa. And then we bring the continue. So it means then. So it's a connecting uh, word, you could say, for sentences. You all worship, imperative. O'abudu. He guides, yahdi. These are both uh, verbs that we have here. O'abudu, you all worship, yahdi. He guides. So when we say he guides. So uh, usually this is used for Allah in the Quran. Yahdi. Yahdi may yasha. When he says he guides who he wishes. And now we have he wishes. Yasha. Yasha is also a verb of these three. So yasha, he wishes. Yahdi may yasha. He guides who he wishes. So that was uh, just one run through the word bank. And I will go through it again so we can remember it better. Hereafter. End. Akhira. All. All of them, that, those, you, it, jami'an, fro. So it comes from jam. So we say all, all of a certain thing, all of them, all of that. Retribution, religion, deen, path, surat, before, qabl, master, malik, straight, mustaqim. So these two words, we know that these are from the surah al-fatiha. When you say surat al-mustaqim. Path, straight, straight path. So when we add these together, we get one of the, we get two meanings, the two, uh, we get the meanings for them and they're joined together, straight path. Surat al-Mustaqim. Kingdom, mulk, day, yawm, one, wahid, wahida. Judgment, rulership, hukum, guardian, wali. One of the important things that we usually say is uh, Ali Waliullah, right? Or rather, he says uh, Ali, uh, he says uh, Rasulullah on the day of Ghadir Khum, he says uh, Wali. Ali is your Wali. He means usually in that you would say like he is your guardian, he is someone that is above you or your leader. But here, when we have Wali, it means guardian. It's usually used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Usually, we say guardian. World, beginning, first. Ola, as we said, awal, ola, beginning, or the world beginning, first. My, me, mine, ya. Yeah. So the ya yeah is possessive. For example, when you say kitabi, bayti, masjidi, my book, uh, my house, my masjid. This, female, this, male. Hadihi, hadha, both of them mean this. He, who, alladhi, those who, alladina. So these two are, they have the same meaning, but one is for singular. Alladina is for plural. Towards, to, ila, whoever, he, who, man. As we said, yahdi, man, yasha. He guides whoever he wishes. So yahdi, ma yasha. This is one of the important uh Sentences that is usually used in the Quran. He guides whoever he wishes. So, oh, yeah, ayyuha, ayyuha, yeah. We said this is when he addresses a group of people or any type of people or a certain person. He says, yeah. Then, so, fa. As we said, when we add two sentences, fa. He adds a fa after to make it, to join those sentences. Then do this. So this is fa. And now to the three verbs that we learned today. You all worship. Imperative. O'abudu. He guides. Yahdi. He wishes. Yasha. Yahdi may yasha. Okay. So now that we went through these, these are a lot of words, but... If we keep on practicing them and then we look through them uh, many times, we can learn the meaning of these words. And with these exercises, 
they'll make it easier for us to learn the words that we have here. So now we're going to the first exercise. We have these five words that we learned today. Jamian, Deen, Hada, Mulk, and Alladina. And we should try to find the correct meaning. Is it A or is it B? So I'll just give you all a moment to uh, get the correct answer. And we'll take it up in a few moments. So uh, look back to your uh, booklet and at the word bank if you don't remember. But try to answer them without looking back at the word bank. Okay. Okay, so it shouldn't have taken too much time as uh, these were just five questions. So let's just go ahead and take them up now together to see if we answer them correctly. So, Jamian, A, is it all of them or B, everything? We said Jamian means A, all of them. Two, Deen, is it religion or is it day of judgment? We said that Deen has two meanings. We said that it means religion, but it can also mean, as we said, it can mean Retribution. So it would not be B, but it would be A, Dean. So the answer is A, Dean. Three, Hada, this male or those. We said Hada means this male. And when we said Hadihi, it is this female. So this is specifically for this. Hada. Mulk. Is it earth or is it kingdom? We said Mulk means kingdom and we said earth is arv and the person who uh is who who is the owner of this kingdom they would be malik so this would be kingdom number five alladina those things or those who we said it is those who and when we said alladi it is he who and so it is singular. But the, we here we are talking about the plural. We say those who. Alladina. So just like that, we were able to answer the first five questions. So now we can go into the second exercise and try to get the Arabic meaning of the English word. So we have the English words of path, one, he who, towards, day. And now I'll just give you a moment and you can answer according to which is the correct one. Is it A or is it B? Okay, so now we'll take it up together. Uh, number one, path. Is it subal or swirat? We said that path is B, right? And this is also in Surah Fatiha. We said suratun mustaqim, suratun mustaqim. The path, mustaqim, straight. So the straight path. So path would mean surat. Number two, one. Would it be wahid or huwa? We said wahid is the number one, wahid. And huwa would be he. So the answer would be A, wahid. Well, number one, wahid. Number three, he who, man, alladhi. Or is it B, alladhina. We know that alladhina and alladhi are very close, but alladhina is for the plural. And here we have singular, he who, not those who. So it would not be B, rather it would be A. And we also said man also means he who. Yahdi ma yasha. He guides whoever he, he who, he wishes. So it is both alladhi and man. And uh, these are the same meaning. Number four, towards. Ula or ila. They're very close together. They look uh, very similar. But we said ila means towards. Ula, we said, uh, for example, awal, first, right? We said ula. Or when we looked into the dars, we meant world beginning. So the beginning, we say ula. And uh, number five, uh, day. Is it yom or ayam? We said that day, uh, for example, yom. It would be a, yom. Yomud din, the day of retribution. We say yom. It is singular. But also, we do have ayam. Ayam is also meant to say that it if, uh, for example, 
the words, uh, the word yom, if it is plural, days, it would be ayam, but rather it is just singular, it would be yom. So that's all that we learned. We learned about yom, but not ayam. So yom is the singular, which would mean day. So now we can continue on towards the next uh, exercise. So now we'll be, as we've done before, we take the different uh, words and we'll put them all into a sentence. And these are sentences from the Quran. And just by learning those previous words and the words that we learned today, we'll be able to find the correct answer. So now I'll give you a moment here to just look through and try to answer if it is A or B. We'll go through each of them one by one and we will slowly answer them. Wa and Allah Wali is guardian. Al-Mu'mineen. Wallahu waliyun mu'mineen. And Allah is the guardian of the, as we said, mu'mineen, believers. And Allah guards the believers? We would say no, as this is not a fail, this is not a verb, but he says, it just says guardian. So it'd be, and Allah is the guardian of the believers. So we know that it is, the answer is B. Wallahu waliyun mu'mineen. And Allah is the guardian of the believers. And number two, Mulku samawati wal ard. Mulk, as we said, kingdom, samawat, as we said, it was heavens, as in plural, right? Sama, singular, samawat, plural. Wal ard, and the earth. Kingdom, heavens, and earth. Kingdom of the heavens and the earth, or kingdom for the heaven and the earth. We would know that it would be kingdom of the heavens and the earth. Mulku samawati wal arth. Kingdom of heavens and earth. Now we'll go to number three. Huwa rahman rahim We learned these two words in the first class, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Huwa, we said it means he. He is. Ar-Rahman, beneficent, merciful. Would it be Allah is uh, the all beneficent and the all merciful, or He is the all beneficent, the all merciful. As you know, we have Huwa here. So it is He rather than Allah. When you say Allah Rahman Rahim, then we would mean Allah. But here we are only saying Huwa. As in, uh, we're not saying it's specific Allah. We, say, we don't say Allah Rahman Rahim, rather we just say Huwa Rahman Rahim. Number four, وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ And we know that wa it means and. الَّذِينَ Those who min we said from, قَبْل Before, kum You all, right? And those who are from, before you. And those from, before you all. And those from, before us. We know قَبْلِكُمْ is to mean you all. So we know that it has to be A, right? وَالَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ And those from before you all. وَالَّذِينَ And those from, from, before you all. So it would be A. Before us would be قَبْلِنَا But rather it says قَبْلِكُمْ Before you all. And now we'll go into the final one. وَلَهُ din وَلَهُ hukm. And his is the religion, and he is the judge, and his is the religion, and his is the judge. So we said, wa and la, we said for, who, he or him, and for him, deen is the religion, religion, and for him, and for him is the judgment. So we said, We know that hukum, as we learned in this lesson, means judgment. So it would not be judge. But rather, hakim is would be judge. But rather, we're talking about hukum. So what it would be B. And his din religion. Walaho and his judgment. Hukum. So walahuddin walahul hukum. And his is the religion, and his is the judgment. 
So just like that, we were able to quickly answer these uh, five questions and we can go to the next exercise together. So now we're going to the Quranic phrases. So it might be a bit harder, but if we take them apart and we slowly learn them one by one, such as wa, Allah, Wali, al muminin we can clearly find the answer. And we'll just do the first one just to help you out here. And Allah is the Wali. We said it is guardian, al muminin believers. So let's just answer that first one together just to get a head start and to be able to answer the next ones. And Allah is the guardian of the believers. Just like that. We were able to get that. Wallahu waliyul mu'mineen. And Allah is the guardian of the believers. So just like that, take them apart and uh, answer them one by one until you, can get the, uh, until you can get the translation. Of course, it may not be fluent at first, but... If you just add the missing words that might be between the sentences, you can get the answer. So I'll give you a moment now to just go from number 2 to 11. Answer these next 10, and we can take them up together. Okay, let's go together, and we can try to answer the next few sentences. So, wa lilla And... It is a bit larger. Let me just see if I can make it a bit smaller here. Let's do 26. Let's do 20 or 16. Okay. And li, we said uh, for la, and for Allah, because we know it's walil Allah. So we know it's walilla, and for Allah. And mulk, we knew it means. Kingdom, Samawat, heavens. So it might not sound as fluent as first, and for Allah, kingdom, heavens, or we, we can just add those missing words that we have. And for Allah is the kingdom of the heavens. samawat, And for Allah is the kingdom of the heavens. Next one. Huwa alladhi khalaqa. Huwa, we know it means he. Alladhi. Uh, we also know that means he who. So we're already wrote he, so we wouldn't need that together. Uh, he who. Khalaqa. Khalaqa, we remember it's the verb for past tense for creation. We know khalq is creation and khalaqa is created, right? So he who created. Huwa alladhi khalaqa. He is the one who created. He who created. Him, the one who created. Uh, that which is, if you remember, ma, it, it meant that which is. Fi in arth, earth, jami'an. And we know jami'an. We said as we look through the lesson, it means all of them. All of it. Ma fil ardi jami'an. That which is in earth, all of it. We know that these two words, they're a bit scrambled up. So we'll take all of it and we remove it, earth. That which is in all of earth, all of the earth. Ma fil ardi jami'an. Right? So we said that which is fi in. Al Arth, Earth, Jemian, all of it. All that is in Earth. Ma fil Ardi, Jemian. So let's go to the next one. Ilahukum, Ilahun Wahid. So this word here might look a bit difficult, but rather we know that Ilah is God. Hukum, uh, your God. So we know we can add the year before that. So we say, your God. Ilahun, God, Wahid. Wahid, we know it is the number one. So we say one. Your God, God one. It still sounds a bit uh, non fluent. So we can just, uh, your God is one God. 
So I can just take one and put that over here. Your God is only one God, right? So, ilahukum. Your God, ilahun wahid. Your God is only one God, right? So it is not more than one. In the Quran, Allah says, ilahukum ilahun wahid. To show you that uh, in the belief that Allah is one in Tawheed when he says, Ilahukum, your God, Ilahun Wahid, is one God. So we can continue to the next one. La ilaha illahu. We know this from the previous lesson. So we know, no, Ilah, God, Illah, except He. Or if we don't want to say He, it sounds a bit, uh, the, it might not be as fluent. So we say, Him. No God except for Him. La ilaha illahu. No God except Him. No God except for Him. So la ilaha illallah. We took out Allah here and we replaced it with who. So it would be la ilaha illallah who. The next one. O'budu rabbakum. So we know that o'budu as we look through the lesson is you all worship. And this is imperative. So Allah says you worship. Rabbakum. And we know Rabb is Lord. Kum, your. So now when you uh, work on it more and more, when you ever see Kum, you usually just add your beforehand. Uh, you'll get used to it after a while. But now, uh, as you see, when you put your, you can just remove it and then put it at the beginning. You worship your Lord. And this is imperative, right? So he's, he is ordering. So he's saying you all worship. So he's not saying you all worship as in you all worship, but he says he's basically, let's put these in brackets so we can know who he's talking about, but rather this is imperative, right? He is telling them, rabbakum. so worship your Lord. He's talking to you all. He says, rabbukum. worship your Lord. This is a uh, Amr. This is, he is telling you to do it. He's not saying you are doing it. So that's uh, the imperative of O'budu. Alladhi khalaqakum. Alladhi, he who khalaqa, created, kum, you, all. Because, you know, we meant kum is for you all, yours. So uh, this can also mean you all. So he who created you all. Alladhi khalaqakum. He who created you all. The next one. Inna allaha rabbi. We know inna means certainly. Certainly, Allah, Allah, Rabbi, Lord. And if you remember in this lesson, we talked about, yeah, right? We said possessive. So, kitabi, bayti, masjidi, my book, uh, my house, my masjid. So, Rabbi is my Lord, right? So, we can just go ahead and put my Lord. Certainly, Allah, my Lord, in Allah, Rabbi. And just to make it more fluent, we can just add a little is. Certainly, Allah is my Lord. Inna Allah Rabbi. So just like that, we got the English meaning. Hada suratum mustaqim. Hada, we know that it means this, male, but we can just write this. Surat, path, uh, straight, mustaqim. So when we say straight, like forward, straight, mustaqim. This path, straight. So we can just take straight out and put it beforehand just to make it more fluent. Straight path. This is the straight path. Hada suratum mustaqim. So this path straight. And just to make it more fluent, we say this straight path. This is the straight path. Hada suratum mustaqim. And for the next one, wallah and Allah. Yahdi. We said Yahdi is guides. Main. Man, he who, just like alladhi, also means he who, but here we say man, yasha, he wishes. And Allah guides he who he wishes. Wallahu and Allah, yahdi, guides man, he who, alladhi, also has the same meaning, he who, yasha, who he wishes. Yahdi ma yasha means he guides whoever he wishes. And here we had Allah at the beginning. And Allah guides whoever he wishes. So now we can just go on to the last exercise that we're going to be doing together. 
And it will be a quick exercise, a quick fun exercise. We can just go through uh, the words here, the sentences in the Quran, parts of the ayat. And we're just going to fill in the blank. So we're going to go through each of them. And when we see a part that hasn't been written down here, we can just go ahead and write the answer, whatever it may be. So I'll just give you a moment now to go ahead and fill in the blanks here. And we'll take it up together in a few moments. Okay, let's go ahead and take this next part up. Uh, number four, let's go through each of these questions. Walillahi mulku samawati wal arth. And for Allah is the blank of the blank and the earth. Walillah, and for Allah, and for Allah, mulk. We know mulk is kingdom, the blank. We're missing kingdom. So let's just put ahead, go ahead and put kingdom here. And for Allah is the kingdom of the samawat. We know samawat means heavens. Wal arth. We have earth already here. And the earth. Walillahi mulku samawati wal arth. And for Allah is the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. So that is number one. Number two. Ya ayyuhan nasu ubudu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum. Okay, this is a long sentence. So let's just go ahead and try to answer it. O oh, people. Ya ayyuha. Remember as we said, ya ayyuha means oh. So it is calling for a certain group. Nas, people. We know nas means people. Ya ayyuhan nas. So that means oh people. O'budu rabbakum. O'budu, uh, as we said, O'budu in the lesson that we learned together, it means worship. And we're missing worship here, so worship. So this is ordering. He says worship. You all worship. Your Lord, Rabbukum. Okay, we Rabbukum, we already have, so that is correct. All people worship your Lord. Alladhi, he who, Khalaqakum. We know Khalaqa means created. Kum, you all. Okay, we already have you all here. So, all people, worship your Lord, he who created you all. Ya ayyuhan nas, O people. O'budu rabbakum, worship your Lord. Alladhi khalaqakum, he who created you all. So, that is number two. O people, worship your Lord, he who created you all. The next one. Wallahu yahdi man yasha'u ila suratin mustaqim. And Allah blank, whoever blank, towards blank path. So that we have a few blanks here. We can go ahead and answer them if we just go one by one. Wa and Allah and Allah, Yahdi. We know Yahdi means guides, right? Yahdi ma yasha. Guides. Man, whoever, he who, yasha. He wishes. Right? Allah yahdi ma yasha, and Allah guides whoever he wishes, ila, towards, to, suratim mustaqim. And, okay, so surat, we means, we know it means path, mustaqim means straight. We have path here, so we're missing straight. So let's just put straight here. Wallahu yahdi ma yasha, ila suratim mustaqim. And Allah guides whoever he wishes towards the straight path. And that's number three. Number four, we just have one missing. So, له الحمد في الأولى والآخرة وله الحكم. So, we you know his is all the praise in the blank, and in the hereafter, and his is blank. Okay, we have a blank here that we're missing. So, له الحمد, for him is praise. His it is all the praise. في in, in the أولى. As you remember أولى, we said أولى means we just go ahead and look for it. World, beginning. So in the world, we just write world. And we know that akhira means hereafter, right? So we said, uh, ola is just, uh, as we said, beginning, end. So this is just to mean uh, the world. And usually it is used for world. So these are just contrasts, right? And for him is a praise in this world and the next world, right? Ola in this world, wal akhira in the hereafter. And walahu, and for him and his is hokum. Hokum, and as we said, hokum means judgment. 
His is all the praise in the world and in the hereafter, and His is judgment. His is all the praise in the world and in the hereafter. And His is judgment. And just like that, we were able to fill in the blanks together. And now we're going to go into the fifth. And uh, this is where I will need you all to try to answer these yourself and try to correct them by looking through the uh, password bank and try to answer these as uh, best as you can. Uh, so these are not too difficult here. Many of these we have already learned together. So if you, even if you look at the past, uh, past exercises, for example, uh, we know the, right? If we go down here. So we've already learned these a lot. So if you're ever stuck, you can go back to the past exercise. And usually you'll have uh, some kind of help in that way for you to be able to answer. So we'll just go through the first set. We have that here and the next few questions. And if we can answer these to the best of our abilities, then we will know that we have understood this lesson. And just like that, we can continue on to our next lesson, which will be next week, lesson four, the worship of Allah. So just throughout the week, if you don't really remember, you can just go through these lessons and uh, try to go through these word banks so you can learn the words even better. So you can answer even more of the Quran without needing to look at the translation. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.